Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay, so you're cruising around your vehicle and you get a check engine light as you can see here on this vehicle. Uh, now, what's that mean? Check engine light actually on newer vehicles is more of a check vehicle light. Uh, that, that light basically comes on, it could be one that says check engine like that or it could be in the little shape of an engine as on some other vehicles. Um, and what it indicates is it indicates that the computer has detected a malfunction with some part of the vehicle. Okay, so what you generally do is take it to your dealer or to some other shop and they find out what the code is. And how do they do that? Well, they use something like this. Okay, this is a code scanner, and this is a fairly generic one. Um, they could, they can range in price. This one was probably about $150. They can range in price from this to up to over $1,000 for the more uh, sophisticated ones that detect more things as far as um, ABS and uh, different things like that. So um, they'll take the scanner and they'll take a plug. Okay. And generally what happens is, up underneath here, there'll be a plug to your computer. And I'm going to use the camera here to find it. Let's see. There it is, right over here. Okay. And we'll plug our scanner up there. Okay. Now I'll take the other end, plug it into our handheld. Okay. And actually, once you plug it in, it all turns on and starts giving us some menus. And we're going to do global, and it's already on 2003 Subaru. Uh, I don't want to erase the data. Okay, it wants me to turn off the key and then turn it on for 10 seconds. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now I want to read the codes. Okay, it's linking up to the vehicle. Okay, so I have a P0452, so this gives me the code here, P0452, which is an EVAP control system, pressure sensor low. That means there is basically a leak in the evaporative control, and then it has another code, but it has no definition for that code. So this is probably the one we can do something about. Uh, a leak in the evaporation control is usually, most often, this is a... Um, you didn't put your fuel cap on last time you uh, put gas in the vehicle. That's generally the most common um, thing that causes a code like this. Uh, the other, the second most common is that your um, filler tube has started to rust out. Okay, I've actually checked both those things. They look okay. And actually I'll make an admission. I know it was the fuel cap uh, because I took it off and started up the car a couple times just to get the car to throw a code so I could do this little demonstration. So now I'm just going to um, clear that code from the car. I'll go back. I'm going to erase codes. Are you sure you want to erase the codes? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to start my vehicle up again. Okay. okay, so as you can see, after the car ran for a little while, the check engine shut off, light shut off. Um, in normal circumstances, I'd drive the car around a little bit, make sure it stayed off. Um, but again, since I know I took the cap off just to throw the code, I'm pretty sure it's not going to come back on. Uh, but that's pretty much what happens when you get a check engine code um, on your vehicle. Uh, you take it to your shop, they run a um, scanner on it, and like I said, if you've got a vehicle and you do some of your own work, these scanners can be had for $200 to $250, and they are uh, invaluable. You can help friends out as well, um, but they run the scanner, they kind of get an idea of what's wrong with the vehicle, uh, then they do some troubleshooting and fix the problem. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.